Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm bringing you a walk around of my KDX 200. Now, for any of you guys wondering, this is a two stroke. Uh, it was built in 2003. That was the original uh, year that it started selling. So it's a it's a kind of old bike, but it runs just like if you were bringing it out of the factory and riding it for the first day. So uh, I can't complain. It's uh, been a good bike to me, and I'm sure it'll be a good bike till you know till whenever. But you know, it's been so far, um, haven't made any really big adjustments to it. I bought it a couple of years ago. Um, everything when I bought it was was very stock. The hand guards were still stock, and um, and some other stuff. But for the most part, everything is still stock. I did change the uh, hand guards on it, trying to make it look a little bit newer. Um, as you can tell on the front graphics, they're starting to peel off just a tiny bit, as well as the side graphics. Those are starting to peel off too. Um, but stay tuned because in a couple of videos or so, so I'll bring you another walk around of this thing. I've been planning some big things for this thing, make it a little bit more modern, a little bit more new, and uh, you know, just trying to upgrade it, trying to keep it with the times because it is 2016, almost 2017. So I really want to make this bike look as new as possible, make it look presentable, and just you know, the thing runs real good. So I wanted to make it look like it runs real good, just like it, like it does. So. Um, other than that, we'll just get right into the engine. The engine is uh, pretty good. You know that thing is old stock. Um, it's it's been pretty. It's clean pretty much to the point as far as there's no dirt and stuff in it. It's uh it's a little muddy right now, um, but I can't complain. It's I think I'm the second, maybe the third owner of this thing, and uh, it's it's withstood a lot. The last owner that I bought it from, he raced it in hair scrambles and and some other off-road racing events. So. Um, for it to be as clean as it is and for it to be 2003, um, you know, he did a very good job of keeping it clean and I'm trying to do my part as well. I've had this bike for a couple years now and um, I've loved it a lot. It's, it was my first bike that I bought so I learned how to ride on it and uh, I just really like it a lot. Um, as far as everything, like I said, it was, it was being stock. Uh, we got our the stock exhaust on the thing. Uh, that is, it's nice. I do, when I did buy the bike, I did have, um, the, the owner did give me the FMF exhaust and the FMF pipe. And so right now I'm in the works of getting everything, you know, the way it needs to be. When I did buy the bike with the FMF exhaust on it, one of the uh, brackets to bolt onto the bike was uh, missing. So right now it's at a, uh, at a shop getting all welded up and ready to go. So like I said, uh, come back again in a couple of in a couple of videos and I'll do another walk around for you and I'll show you everything that's kind of upgraded on that. But for now this is what I'm running with. It's got the stock uh, pipe on it as well. It's really stood some times. I mean there's no big dents in it or anything like that. It's it's very very good. As far as everything getting upgraded I told you already about the hand guards and so far the only thing when I bought it there was a new back end on it. And I like it. It looks a lot looks a lot newer than uh, the other one, which is sitting right here. So this other one was the original. So if I ever did decide to put it back on, you know, it's right here. But you know, I'm trying to go for a more newer look and stuff like that. So uh, we're gonna try to keep it, you know, just the way that it is. I definitely like the back fender. Makes it look more modern, more new, and stuff like that. You know, I'm just like I said. I'm just trying to keep this thing clean. Keep it looking nice. I customized some graphics. Those are in the works of uh, getting done. So, like I said, you'll see you'll see those when um, when they come around in the next video. The only other big change that I can really think of, as far as it not being stock, is just the hand guards or not the hand guards, the hand grips. Uh, other, you know, those are kind of new. You know, they've got those little rubber pads on there. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's pretty good. I mean, the the odometer still on it and uh, you know the the lights still on it and everything like that um, but we're gonna try to make some changes to it um, coming up so like I said keep tuned uh, when you'll see the next video and you'll see some stuff changed on it but for now uh, I just wanted to bring you a walk around of it it's a very nice bike I like it a lot uh, like I said this was my first bike that I learned how to ride on it and I still do and it's uh, it's been a great bike to learn on uh, you know I plan on riding it for for as long as I, I would like. You know, I am looking for a new bike, but 
you know, I'm not really looking for one right now. I, like I said, I've had this for a couple of years and it does me just fine. So I'm just gonna keep it the way that it is. Um, but yeah, other than that, like I said, the uh, everything, the engine is all is all nice and new and stuff like that. Um, now the swing arm graphics are a little bit, they are coming off a little bit. Like I said, I have uh, been working on some graphics and designs for, for that. And hopefully when they come to my house and I put them on, the bike looks a little bit new, it looks a little bit fresher. And so we'll see what happens there. But yeah, I'll give you another walk around when everything is said and done. But just wanted to uh, show you what the bike looks like. You know, I've been posting a lot of YouTube videos about me riding and stuff like that. I figured I just do a walk around of the video or of the, the bike so I can, so you can see what, you know, what I've been riding on the video and, and stuff like that. So other than that, everything is good. The, uh, the foot pegs, they are still pretty, pretty spiky. I can put my foot on that and not feel like they're sliding off when I'm going off jumps and even just riding in the woods with rocky roots and some other stuff like that. But yeah, you know, I cleaned this bike up pretty good as far as the tires and stuff go. It's winter time here now, so you know, there's not much riding to do. I'm gonna try to squeeze in one last ride, so look forward to seeing the video here soon if I do end up going out. But yeah, this is, this is kinda it, so yeah, thanks guys. I'll see you on the next one.